Joel, I guess fair to say it was a hard-earned win tonight. Oh, absolutely, but uh, we knew that from the offset. Uh, obviously, last week we had a pretty convincing win against Oxford. Uh, we knew this Cambridge side would be a lot different, uh, very niggly, wanting to slow the game down, stuff like that, trying to ruffle our feathers. Um, and I thought for the whole we did that. For about 50, 60 minutes we did manage to uh, resist that temptation, but it was obviously that period where we went through two yellow cards and I think that niggle and there. Them trying to disrupt our game, so they got under our skin. Uh, but we managed to regroup ourselves and uh, get back down there and score a try and, and, and hold out towards the end, um, which is testament to the boys. Because if you look in that change room, there's a lot of young lads. Yeah, there's a few old boys dotted about, but the majority of it is a young team. Uh, so they, it was good that they stuck out and, and held off. You mentioned the young lads. You're only 22 yourself. Did you feel like one of the older boys out there at the end of the game? Yeah, it, it, it's certainly getting like that now. Um, unfortunately, I do look around and. I'm sort of saying I remember when I was 18 and stuff like that, but uh, I, I, I love the responsibility, the, uh, the, if, if I can help any boys in any way I can, I, I'll always try and do that, so it's not much a thing that, that worries me. Uh, I know I'm still 22, got a lot of rugby left, um, but if I can help these boys bring them through and, and, and hopefully have an impact on their game and how they perform, that's excellent. It was a pretty dominant period towards the end of the first half. Was it a little bit disappointing that you weren't able to carry that into the second half, or is that testament to Cambridge how they came back out? I, I, I think I think it's a bit of both. Uh, it's a shame we sort of didn't want that half-time whistle to come, and, and they kind of did. Um, and we knew they'd come out firing, and it was just about how we'd combat that and deal with that. Um, unfortunately, a bit of ill discipline stuff like that. We ended up in our half, and that sort of killed our buzz rather quickly. Um, but we managed to regain ourselves and, as I say, get back down and score. But, as you say, full credit to Cambridge. They came in with a game plan, they stuck to it and, and they pushed us right till the end. And I think everyone, both sides, got something out of today. So, and that's the most important thing. Just a quick word on your own game. 80 minutes tonight and a yeah. try as well. Yeah. Uh, how valuable are these Wanderers games for you? Ask any of the boys. They're just desperate to get out there and, and, and get any game time they can. Um, for me to get a full 80, this is my first one since I, since I did my wrist back in April. Uh, so the lungs were a bit... Bit, bit sore towards the end but good to get out in my belt uh, and at 10 as well uh, enjoyed that so hopefully more of the same and, and, and can keep getting these game times in the Wandies and, and then hopefully push for that LV campaign coming up when uh, Khan and Dicko uh, go to international stuff